Hello and welcome to episode six of the Liberland Show. I am your host, Adam J. Carswell. Today we are joined by Joey Langenbrunner. Joey is a U.S. representative for the state of Ohio. Joey, thanks for joining us today, and do you have any opening remarks for our listeners? I just want to thank you uh, for kind of giving me the opportunity to kind of talk about, you know, what's going on, um, you know, on a state level here in the U.S. and kind of what's happening from like the U.S. standpoint when it comes to um, labor land matters. So I'm really excited, Adam, and thank you so much. Yep, definitely looking forward to this call. And I can say already from the conversation we had before the interview, it's one that if we wanted to, we could make this thing go three hours and never run out of cool things to talk about. We're going to keep you guys' attention span for today. Joey has some pretty cool news to share along with his background, which is also very unique, very interesting. So we're going to kick this thing off. Joey, how did you begin your journey as a Liberlandian? So, um, Adam, that's kind of a funny story. So, I don't know if you've heard of the conference called um, Anarchopoco. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Anarchopoco is a conference that happens, um, ironically, in Acapulco, Mexico. Um, it's a conference done by um, Jeff Berwick. Um, yep. So, he's part of the Dollar Vig- um, like Vigilante, and he's also helping uh, Lieberland as well. And so, I'm a huge fan of him. I found out about Anarchopoco, and I went down to that conference. Now, ever since uh, 2015, you know, ever since Vit stuck a flag in Lieberland and claimed mm-hmm. it as the Free Republic of Lieberland, I was a huge fan, following every single thing, trying to translate, you know, all, the, all these articles that were in Serbian and Croatian and, and, you know, stuff like that. Just been a huge fan. And I saw them there and I was like, oh, this is great. Maybe get involved somehow. This is fantastic. But actually, before really all that happened, Lieberland um, was giving a, a diplomatic passport to Ron Paul at the time. And I'm like, this is great. And just so it happens that his diplomatic passport was sitting on a table and I was sitting right there and I was like, hey, this is really cool. So I just, so I, I decided to take a picture of it. But of course, you know, this is a diplomatic passport and has personal information. People found out and, you know, I was pulled up to the side by Liberland and said, hey, can you delete that picture? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, of course. Anyways, my name is Joey Langerbrunner and kind of, and, and kind of started off there. So kind of a <laughs> little funny story, um, how I got involved there. You know, ever since then, I've just um, been doing with the, you know, things with them and Things have been ramping up like crazy the past few months. We've been really, been really busy, you know, ever since probably about like past um, two or three months, just right. Lieberland, 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 and, and life's been fantastic. So that's kind of yeah. how, how I became a Lieberland again. Uh, thank so. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing that with us. One, I would have to say in Acapulco, uh, for what I have seen and read and listened to, it's a great conference. I haven't been there yet, but have every intention of attending either this year or the years to come. I sure. also like the fact that you are from Ohio, which is my home state. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm a Cleveland. I'm a Cleveland boy. Oh, Cleveland. I'm from, You're on the I'm other side Cincinnati, of the state. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much as far away from each other as we could be, but both from the same state and uh, most cool. importantly, both, both Lieberlandians in heart. Absolutely. So, you know, the best thing to be patriotic about for sure. That's cool. I have to say that we have that in common. And then number two... Lieberland needs people like you that are going to push it to the limit and take risks like taking pictures of Ron Paul's diplomatic passport. So <laughs> thank you for my, staying true. Yeah, it might not have been my brightest, you know, but like, come on, that's pretty cool. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely. So tell us, uh, I mean, that's a unique experience, obviously, that, since you've been associated with Lieberland. But what actually, before we get to this, can you share with our listeners the um, exciting news that that we have going on in Lieberland. Yeah, so I am actually part of the, so um, I am part of the Libertarian Party of Ohio. I'm actually on the executive committee, but, you know, kind of been trying to help out the Libertarian Party. And then I also got elected to be part of the blockchain committee under on the LP's banner. And, and I've been kind of fully um, being involved with the Libertarian Party. And so when we wanted to do this thing where we wanted to get the LNC, the Libertarian National Committee, to basically have a resolution where they would support the recognition of Liberland, that was something where like, hey, I can help out here. I know a lot of the members. They know me. I'm very involved with the Libertarian Party here. Let's do this. And so we worked on um, a resolution, and then I, we submitted it, and the vote was put up on this past Sunday, and it was passed. So officially now, the U.S. Libertarian Party supports recognition of Liberland, and that's huge because this is the American Libertarian Party 
the biggest, you know, a political party support globally. And so this was kind of my first, let's say, you know, example of like, hey, you know, I did something. I finally was able <laughs> to help out in the situation and, and we'll build from there. You paid so your really after <laughs> taking pictures of Ron Paul's passport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully um, I'm even in their eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Can you uh, t- talk a little bit more about what this means for Lieberland and uh, some things that we're excited for as a, as a nation now? You know, as being a representative for on the U.S. state of Ohio, um, what my main job is to really focus not just on a national level, but from a state level too, trying to get um, similar resolutions passed. Yeah, of course, you want to get the third biggest political party, you know, and then, you know, let's see if we can get a few states going and trying to, you know, do that. And then after a while, we can go to the U.S. State Department and say, hey, we got recognition from here, 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 and here. Will you, will you fully recognize the Free Republic of Liberland? So it's basically like we're building um, a grassroots movement here. And honestly, we're, we've been doing this for, um, you know, about three and a half years now, almost on four years now. We've been really ramping up. And so this is just a great opportunity for anyone who supports Liberland and lives in Ohio. I mean, so like, yes, lives in Ohio, but also lives um, anywhere in the U.S. say, hey, you know, this is something that can actually help out, you know. So if you do know some politicians on the state level um, or the national level, this is something that we really need help in trying to gain recognition of Liberland, you know. So we really need to start as, as a grassroots movement. Right. With and, that. and so I, I do have to ask, in reference to politicians, does it, does it almost not matter to which party they're affiliated with? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, at the end, at the end um, it really matters that we're bringing freedom and liberty to um, the Liberland area and surrounding area. There was also a study done, uh, I forget which group, but there was a group um, in Serbia that did a study where a Liberland was going to basically, you know, like, so like it's going to produce jobs in the area, but it's going to increase the GDP of Serbia and Croatia by 1%. Wow. That is huge. And so we're like, hey, we're going to bring, you know, all this development, we're going to be bringing jobs, liberty, all this kind of things to the Balkans. Back in the 80s and like early 90s, you know, what I mean, you had um, Yugoslavia, so just right, huge. Right. So like, it's kind of like a sensitive matter, but you know, we really want to do our um, our best and just really going out there and just making people's lives better in the area. So you know, from that standpoint, it really doesn't matter which political party. This is something that if you're a libertarian, um, a Republican, a, a Democrat, or um, her or whoever, we're going to be making people's lives better in this area and really building opportunities. And, and that's what is absolutely fantastic about this. Definitely. And you, you really uh, make me think about it and realize now you're, you know, you're right. Liberty at the end of the day, it has no face. It has no label. It's open to anyone that identifies themselves with anything. It's a very abstract and transparent idea. Yeah. It's, and it's, and this is a very strong and global idea and um, kind of what Liberland's goal is, is to really be a 21st century model of what a state can do and can be like and really just make people's lives better. So, you know, if you can't get behind creating opportunity, what's going on here? Right. So it really doesn't matter, you know, what your political, you, you know, beliefs are. At the end of the day, we're very um, inclusive and, and whatnot. And we're just happy to really talk to anybody. Nice. So Joey, tell us a little bit more about your professional background and, and really just your background in general. I know you have a pretty unique story leading up to where we're at. Yeah, sure. So my life has just been in crypto, 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 blockchain, Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm currently working for a Bitcoin ATM company. And so I've just been doing sales and marketing from that standpoint. So you know, literally building the infrastructure for a financial revolution and then getting paid to do it, Mm -hmm. which is just amazing, you know, like a unique opportunity. And then me being involved with um, the Libertarian Party, now I'm on to their brand new blockchain committee, which will be finding out all different laws and whatnot going on here in the US and then kind of educating libertarian candidates, you know, what's going on and also reaching out to um, the blockchain community here in the U.S., which is a huge community. And, you know, they, they're, you know, like they're really trying to find a political party. And I believe that and I believe that the libertarian party is the party for on the blockchain community. So really trying to form those connections where they're right there. And plus, you know, with Liberland going to have their own cryptocurrency on the merit and a lot of their 
you know, a lot of the way that the government is going to function on the blockchain is just a magnificent fit, you know, like match made in heaven for something that I want to be involved with. I want to make it my life. And as such, I, I go, I will call myself a Librelandian. And, and that's what this is all about. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. And you're inspiring me to remind myself to carry, to carry myself in that way as well. You just feel better, I think, about who you are, especially when you know that you're representing something that you truly believe in and something that you've made a choice to believe in too, I'd say most importantly. Yeah, choice is, is definitely very um, important, you know, because we don't, you know, like we're not trying to force anyone here. That's the kind of like the whole idea it comes just, just, just to, to the basic concept of liberty you know, making sure we're not forcing people. And so uh, I'm doing, doing this completely voluntarily because I see this as something that could just really help out people, improve people's lives. Life is short. And so if we can just live life and ju- just try to help um, the human experience out, then I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, obviously um, I might be trying to shoot a little bit higher here, but at the end of the day, if you can just really improve yourself and then once you improve yourself, start trying to go out there and really help out other people's life, you know, not trying to force them, but show that there are choices. And and that's the whole concept of Liberland. We want to make sure that people do have choice. Because right now we live in a world that has all these taxes, regulations, all these kind of things. So if you want to open up a business as a small business, man. You got to go to the Canary Islands, go hang out with Pavel. (laughs) No, Pavel's a great guy. So really showing that opportunity to say, hey, you want to be um, an entrepreneur? You really want to uh, follow your dreams. You want this opportunity. Liberland is the place to be. Let's make this dream come true. And it is coming true. And being a part of that is just by far the most humbling experience ever. Right. So I'm curious, how do you, I mean, you're in sales and marketing. And I think to an extent, all of our lives are deeply intertwined with sales and marketing. You know, if you can't sell yourself, if you can't get your message across, it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, construction worker, podcast host, whatever, you got to know how to sell. Yeah. When somebody gets to know you and they hear, oh, this guy's in sales for Bitcoin ATMs, I'd say, especially in the US, I'm sure you get some pushback. What <laughs> kind of like, what, what's your go-to message to someone that might have a mindset like that? At the end of the day, I just simply point to hey, well, these are the facts. You know, this is what's going on right now. If it's a matter of say, hey, how much, how many people are actually using Bitcoin? These are facts that I'll say, hey, this is what's going on. These, these are the numbers. Uh, from the standpoint of me doing sales, you know, with my particular job saying, hey, these are the amount of clients that we're getting per location. Here's all the details and you can benefit from this. These people can go either two ways. A, they can make money off of it and who cares about Bitcoin? The other way is, hey, I can make money off of this. And this is a really cool concept. Um, This interests me. I might not fully understand it, you know, because this stuff is, it's not too complicated, but it is kind of complicated for people. And so people are kind of curious. Humans uh, are very curious. And so so sometimes I hope to do my sales in, in that way where it's saying like, hey, you're very curious about this. You can make money off this. Let's give this opportunity for a chance for you to kind of explore this. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It, it is a new concept. And so sometimes it simply just takes time for the entire population to adopt something like blockchain and crypto, which we need, again, pioneers like yourself taking pictures where they shouldn't be taking pictures, pushing the envelope. <laughs> and I and I really think um, that Liberland is really going to be um, a huge part in this with Liberland creating their own cryptocurrency um, called the Merit. As soon as we get full a recognition, which, you know, like we're getting there saying, hey, our, you know, like our national currency in quotes is the merit. Obviously, I'm like, obviously, you know, in Liberland, you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, Monero, whatever you want to use. Mm-hmm. But we do have one called the merits. And so when we're talking to other countries, we can say, hey, our quote unquote national currency is merits. And, you know, and kind of like that standpoint, I think that's huge. Obviously, we're not trying to force people to only do business and merits that just go against everything that Liberland stands for. But I think from that angle, that's going to be pioneering. And, you know, there are a few other countries that are starting to uh, look at this technology and potentially propose their own version of cryptocurrency on a state level, you know, and that can get kind of frightening, uh, whatnot, depending on how they do it. Right. But, uh, but I would say a majority of countries are very interested in this technology and watching it very closely, which is so exciting, but kind of like scary at the same time. And so if Liberland could come in, pioneer this technology and say, hey, this is how you do it and kind of be a model, 
then that what is so important and that is so critically it just has to be done right 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 and and Liberland's going to do it right that's right so yeah thank you for for being a part of that team and serving because it's not everyone's calling and we definitely appreciate your service no and and adam um you're definitely helping out here too so and we appreciate you <laughs> hey that's good that's good got to keep it mutual so my final question for you because we are um, running out of time here is sure. what what advice do you have for aspiring and ambitious Liberlandians? i would kind of shoot for um what you're doing, you know, you're, you're pretty good, you know, like with audio and you, uh, you know, and you have a great voice and everything like that. You have these talents and you're saying, Hey, I want to help out Lieberland and you just start doing it. So from my perspective, say, Hey, I, I'm from Ohio, <laughs> you know, what can I do in Ohio? Hey, you can be um, a representative. Okay. And I kind of just fell into that and just started getting involved and, you know, and saying like, all right, I'm part of the Libertarian party, you know, do that and let's see what I can do next. So whatever talents you have, to start helping out Liberland because at the end of the day, Liberland really strives to be kind of um, an area where we really want the free market to thrive. So when it comes to supporting Liberland, you do you and try to um, contact us and see where you can help because there's some places where we do need help, like trying to get a recognition on a state level or on the national level. You know, if if you have connections, if, if these are things that you can help out with, we, we want your help. Yeah. So you just have to get into... Um, in contact with us and we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. So everyone, please uh, know that you can, you can reach out to Liberland in many ways. And if you want to reach out to Joey himself, I'm sure you don't mind providing your, I hope you don't mind providing your contact information. I'm trying <laughs> to put you on the spot there. No. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, no, if you have any questions, you can contact me at Ohio at Liberland.org. So always feel free to hit me up there. More than happy to answer questions. And if you live in Ohio, I definitely want to get to know you. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All right, Joey. Well, well, thank you for joining us. It's been a blast having you on here. Yeah, for sure, Adam. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to um, all the other podcasts that you're doing. And on behalf of a Liberlandian, I am thankful that you, Adam, as another Liberlandian, are helping out. That's right. Hoorah. Keep the keep the <laughs> keep the gratitude and good times rolling. Of course, that's what life's about, man. All right. So, okay, guys, thanks for joining us, and we will catch you in the next episode. <laughs>